going on Saber World? This is Justin with Vanguard Armory Sabers and today I wanted to do a, another review video. I haven't done one of these in a while. So I wanted to go over Sabercraft's products again. I know I did a review video of them a while ago but they recently did another run of their Sabercraft Big Boy and they sent me a couple other products to do some reviews on which I will show in a little bit here. But first I wanted to start with the Sabercraft Big Boy. Now if any of you guys aren't familiar with the Sabercraft Big Boy it is probably one of the most advanced and well-built um, Saber kits that I've personally ever seen. And there's been some really good companies out there, KR Sabers to name a few, that have come out with some really good products that I really enjoy. But to me, Sabercraft has always stood out the most, purely because of their quality of finish, um, their quality of machining, and the pure design and ingenuity that they put into their Sabers. Now, the Big Boy definitely lives up to its name. It's a pretty hefty hilt. Um, it's pretty thick for, for a lightsaber, but then again, um, it trades what, what it has or what it lacks in size, it makes up for in just pure quality. Um, to start, I mean, the first thing you notice when you pick this up is the unique style of pommel, the unique box, and uh, the emitter, which is very reminiscent of a Luke ROTJ or an Obi Wan. Now, things that make it unique are the machine mark or the machining that they do in the emitter. They've done a really cool pattern here. Same deal in the pommel. Everything that you see here, I mean, none of it's cast. It is all CNC machined, which is really high quality stuff. They use really good materials. So I'll go over the top half first. So the top half will come off from the bottom half, just, you know, like almost everything Next Saber does. However, what makes this one unique is there are two different LED mounting solutions, and Sabercraft sends the heat sinks for both solutions. Now, the first solution is right in here. So you remove the neck, and you remove the lower grip part, and there is a section... Excuse me. There's a section for another heat sink right here. Now this heat sink bolts together. It comes with an O-ring for spacing and everything and holes. I mean, plenty. I mean, look at the detail they put into that. They CNC machine. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. They CNC machine the plus and the minus sign just to help you out. Not only that, but it's a brushed finish. The inside here is sandblasted. They've really put a lot of time going into small details. And to me, it's the small details that stand out the most. So this just drops right into here. And then this, well, you gotta make sure it's straight. And then this just twists on nice and easily. Now, the thing, uh, I, I really like their quality of threads. Um, I've worked with a lot of different sabers from different saber companies and Sabercraft's uh, thread quality, um, the, just the quality of machining and the threads, the cleanliness, uh, lack of burrs that you sometimes see on threaded parts, they're, they're just not there. It's super clean, nice and pristine. It won't get all gunked up. It's kind of, my phone's kind of having a hard time focusing. But regardless, Super clean threads up there with TCSS, uh, the custom shaver shop for those that don't know the acronym. So that's just a plus right here. Now that's just one of the LED mounting solutions. The other one is just a little bit farther up. It's in the middle of the neck between this part and this part. So untwist this. Again, just smooth, nice threads. I love it. And they included the little copper heat sink. So it's not aluminum. It's actually copper, the best for heat transfer. Uh, transfer. Now, the thing that's really cool is that this is all machined to perfectly fit an, uh, an LED uh, heat sink. Or not the heat sink, but the actual LED itself with the copper PCB because it's already that hexagonal shape. So uh, another thing they do is they machine little uh, tiny little uh, grooves in here for wire passage so nothing gets pinched. They thought of everything. So then that will sit right here. You put your thermal tape and your LED star in here as well as your lens. It's a tight fit, so it's kind of, you got to make sure it's lined up. There we go. And then on the bottom here, you can see that they've even included a little O-ring, and that will help seat the lens. So once that twists on, let's get that twisted on. Boom. There you go. Nice, smooth, smooth thread on action. And then the only other part that will come off is this right here. So this will twist off. And you can see they've already included uh, their Mylar, Mylar tape film. And what this does is it helps transfer the light from the LED 
up into the blade because it'll reflect uh it'll reflect along the surface it's a nice little trick um we learned this from sean crosby so um big thanks to that guy for coming up with that ingenious solution i know uh he uh saber forge uses that thanks to him so this will go back on now that's just the top half and again you know they've included both heat sinks for both led setups that you want so we'll go ahead and set that there. Now the bottom half, the bottom half is what I like the most. Now the first thing I want to talk about is this really cool switch box. I mean, look at that. All nice, you know, 3D profile, fully solid CNC machined with real copper slide switch here and for your activation plate. Now it's a very, it's a nice and clicky, nice and responsive. It has your main and auxiliary. Now the way this works, if you slide this off, um, this is the actual switch plate right here. This is just a copper accent piece, which again, check that out. It's all CNC, all CNC machined and engraved. And then this part, these little raised areas right here is what locks into this plate and keeps this from just sliding out freely. Now it's spring loaded and the switches are already built onto a PCB. So there's nothing that you have to set up for the switch box. You just got to wire it up to your soundboard and you're good to go. On top of that, you get your, your kill switch, which is right here. You get your USB charge port um, and you get three accent LEDs, which is really cool. So we'll slide this back in. Now, one thing I, I do want to mention is this isn't set up automatically ready to go for USB charging. If you if you try to charge it with USB, um, you could potentially damage your stuff, which is why Sabercraft was kind enough to send a little tiny adapter in their little in their little fun bag here. So this will plug in right here. And then you can use any of your Sabre chargers, your 3.7 or your 7.4, depending on how you install your Sabre, to charge this. Um, I kind of wish that there was a charge circuit built into it, but there is some spacing issues. Um, I have installed a proper USB charge circuit into this. However, it does make the chassis a little hard to fit, so that is one thing to note. But with this, you don't have to worry about it. You can just plug in any of your smart chargers as you're ready to go, so that was nice of them. Now this right here sticking out, this is their diaphragm. This is something they developed to really help make the install um, simpler and easier, and all their wires come uh, nicely braided, easily managed, it's uh, really nice. And then, you can take the pommel off and you can slide out the chassis. Now for 195, this is how much a silk costs. Not only do you get all this cool stuff and all, you know, this, the quality behind it, they also send a full chassis solution. Now this isn't Delrin, this isn't 3D printed. I believe this is CNC machined ABS plastic. So they went through all the trouble of actually CNC machining everything on this chassis. Now the way that the soundboard mounts, you put it inside and then uh, these little O-rings act as like rubber bands to hold the soundboard in. And there's foam pads on the bottom. So this soundboard isn't going to move. Now, they've also included some uh, wire speaker already, already, uh, already installed. And then the way it's designed is you just have to put your battery in. You don't have to solder to your battery or anything. It's designed for an NCR 18650B and you're ready to go. So once you wire up your soundboard... There are some wires that you need to attach, which you can pull out from the hilt, such as these would be your wire, uh, your LED wires, your switch wires. All that will have to be attached to your soundboard, but that's about it. I mean, it's a very easy, straightforward install unless you want to do some customization, which there's plenty of options for customization on this. Um, I've done a few mods where I've installed a rice port, extra LEDs. Um, sky's the limit with what you can do with this. And then it all just installs cleanly back into the hilt. So that goes in there. This will go back. Tight fit. I'll twist on. And this will twist back on. 
Now, you don't have to use their wiring or diaphragm. Um, some custom setups uh, will require you to wire it up differently. But that's the thing. This Sabre is tailored to the DIYer. So, this, however you want to do your setup, that's, that's on you. But they have built the Sabre to be as user-friendly and install-friendly as possible. And for that... I give the major props. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would have to give this the Sabre a, a solid 10. Um, and honestly, for the price this is and the quality of product that you receive, it's probably the best deal around. Um, I've worked with Sabres, uh, just empties that cost upwards of $1,000, and they don't have nearly the machine quality or machine finish that these Sabres have. So... Um, just comes to show how much they care about the quality of their product, and they also care about their customers. And that's another thing I want to talk about that has really impressed me about Sabercraft. A while ago, um, they were doing the last run of Big Boys, and they had some delays. And to apologize to their uh, to all their fans and customers, they sent out a couple. Uh, they sent out these custom keychains, and the one that they made me it's CNC engraved with my name, and then May the Fourth be with you for uh, May Fourth. So. That was really cool, and again, they put time and effort into these. This isn't just a quick CNC, you know, like a laser cutout. This is solid, you know, CNC machined out of aluminum, so it's billet. And then they sandblasted it and then belt sanded and got a nice brushed finish on it. So it's really cool. They really put some time and effort and just, you know, heart and soul into this stuff. Now, a couple of stuff that they sent is uh, this really cool Covertech belt clip. Now, this Covertech is, again, solid CNC machined. I mean, this is all profile. This isn't, you know, just cut and bent like some of them are. This is all CNC profiled. You can see inside here, it's engraved with Sabercraft. And then the saber mount made in 2017, um, sandblasted, and then on the top it's all belt finish, you know, belt sanded, and nice brushed finish. Now this, um, you can insert your belt through here, or you can bolt it to your costume, however you want to wear this. And instead of your uh, standard, you know, push button to release, it's just a simple slide in, and it locks to the side. Boom. So, it's not going anywhere. So, really nice design on this. One of the best belt clips out there. It's good product. Now, another one that they sent is Sabervolt. Now, this wouldn't necessarily apply to the big, uh, the big boy, but for any other Sabres that you have out there, especially when you're on the go and you don't want to pack around, you know, all your chargers or anything, you got a phone. If you, if you have an iOS or an Android phone, not an iOS, that's Apple. If you have an Android phone, you're probably carrying around a, uh, a, a, an Android charger. This will allow you to charge any Sabre out there with a USB charger because it has a USB charge port in it. So this will just plug into a Sabre. Actually, let me grab a hilt and I will show you. Um, actually, I don't have any hilt set. They're all internal recharge ports, so never mind. Anyways, this will just simply plug into any charge port on a Sabre. And then you just plug your USB port into this. And there's little LED indicator lights right here that will tell you when it's charged or when it's not charged. So, again, this is all 3D CNC machined. Um, finished, too, with a nice brush finish and sandblasted uh, accents. And it's overall a very solid product. So, if you have a Sabre, honestly, get one of these. Super handy. So... Another thing they send with it, um, bags full, you know, with some wires, some heat shrink, whatever you need to do to help complete your install. Now, I've got two Sabercraft Big Boys here. One of them is uh, one that's got a little ding on it. This one I'm going to do some nice weathering to. And then the nicer one that I have, I'm also, it's also going to be weathered, but I'm going to shatter weather it and install it with a crystal chamber, one from uh, Goth3 Designs. So I'll be doing some custom machining and a custom wire setup on this. So I probably won't be using the diaphragm, but I'll still be using the chassis because it's a nice chassis. So overall, guys, if you are ever on the fence about getting a Sabercraft um, Big Boy, if you find one for sale, they still have a couple left, if they still have a couple left, or any of their future products, rest assured, you're gonna if you spend money with this company it's gonna be very well worth it I'm very happy with the stuff that they've done um, I'm really impressed with how they are with their customers how much they care about their customers and the quality of their product and honestly that's something that we need more of in the saber community because there's too many companies out there that just care about the money they don't care about the product they don't care about customer satisfaction and that's just not cool that's not cool you know stick with companies that care sabercraft cares and um 
guys, again, you, you nailed it. I'm really happy with your products, and I'm so excited to see what you've got coming up next. So anyways, guys, um, that was another review of Sabercraft products. Um, go ahead and check out my YouTube for other review videos. I'll be doing some more here coming up soon. And um, i got plenty of installs to do. Um, I've kind of, you know, I've been busy lately with some a lot of other stuff going on in life, but things have slowed down now. My schedule has changed at work. I've got some more time to work on Sabres, and I can get caught up. And then I'll be able to build these things. So anyways, guys, this is Justin with Vanguard Armory signing off. May the Force be with you.